the articulator is an indispensable tool for technicians to determine the occlusal and deal with complex cases. Having the ability to scan the physical articulator and transfer it to the CAD design software accurately is very important. In this video, we are going to introduce the process of scanning an articulator with the AutoScan DSX Pro H from Shining 3D. Our AutoScan DSX Pro H can scan the most common articulator brands, supporting articulator transfer plates for Artex, Cavo, Sam, and BioArt. Today, we will take the Artex articulator as an example to demonstrate the scanning process. First, when we create an order, we need to choose our occlusion type. Here we will select Artex articulator. In the scanning interface, we use the workflow setting panel to adjust the scanning steps. Please be aware that if the articulator needs to be identified and transferred in ExoCAD, we need to click transfer here, then the final STL file will automatically match the virtual articulator in ExoCAD. This is the scanning interface to scan the articulator. We can find that the icon for the byte scan turns to the articulator icon. On the right side of the interface, you can choose the articulator scanning mode, dynamic scan or static scan. In this video, we will show you both of the scan modes. First is the static byte scan. We place the articulator on the articulator height adapter, and adjust the Z-axis height according to the position of the byte in the articulator so that the occlusal plane is located in the middle of the camera. As the process prompt shows, we will scan the right side of the byte first and place the articulator as close to the turntable of the scanner as possible and click scan. After the scan is complete, flip the articulator over, place it on the articulator height adapter, and then scan the left side byte to acquire all occlusal data. Another method to scan the byte is the dynamic scan. We will place the articulator on the articulator plate, then click the scan button, and the turntable will automatically rotate, collecting all the occlusion information on the left side, in the middle, and on the right side. After that, we take the plaster models from the articulator, put them directly on the turntable without the height adapter, and scan the upper jaw and lower jaw in turn. In order for the articulator to be recognized and transferred to ExoCAD, we need to scan the data of the articulator transfer plate of the lower jaw, which is significant. Following the instructions in the diagram, we flip the model and then scan the bottom of the articulator transfer plate. Once this scanning is completed, the software will automatically do the transfer plate alignment and the lower jaw bottom alignment. The scan data can be directly imported into ExoCAD, and the virtual articulator data can be used for subsequent design.